Extreme have been on quite the high lately, you might even say a rise, uh, after the release of their latest record, Six, which is a phenomenal album, and their first since 2008's highly underrated Sadades de Rock. Of course, though, with all the press that the band is currently generating, uh, it could not come without at least a little bit of drama. This is rock and roll after all, and this time it comes from Guns N' Roses rhythm guitar player Richard Fortas. Uh, famously, of course, extreme guitar player Nuno Betancourt has been playing with Rihanna for over a decade, most recently appearing at the Super Bowl with her uh, earlier this year. But prior to Nuno having the gig, Richard Fortas was her guitar player during her Good Girl Gone Bad tour uh, from 2008 to 2009. The controversy in question comes from a recent interview that Nuno did with Planet Rock, where he said that basically he is the only guitar player capable of doing the Rihanna gig. Let's dive in. During Nuno's interview with Planet Rock, he was discussing his gig with Rihanna, saying, quote, When somebody like Rihanna reaches out to you to perform, everybody thinks, oh, that's cute, it's a pop artist, whatever. Let me tell you something. What I had to do night after night, put on a reggae hat for one song with a reggae feel, and go into R&B, then go into some punk rock and pop rock that she did, and then club tracks, all sorts of things, all those different feels. I'm sorry, most of the guitar players who I admire could not in their lifetime play that gig. I mean that in the most complimentary way possible. Slash is one of the greatest rock guitar players of all time, but I guarantee, and he'd be the first to tell you, that if he jumps up and he's got to play a clean intro to Rude Boy from Rihanna, it ain't happening. Maybe a bit conceited and backhanded, and I'm not quite sure why he chose to call out Slash, uh, of all people, as I think it would make more sense to reference somebody that has dabbled a little bit more outside of rock over the years than Slash, although he did appear on one Rihanna song. But Richard Fortas honestly would have been the perfect candidate to reference, as he had the Rihanna gig prior to Nuno. But if we use Nuno's logic, he's basically saying that Richard Fortas is a better guitar player than Slash. I digress, though. This apparently irked Richard, who, by the way, very much looks like he could be Izzy Stradlin if he didn't know any better. Uh, but it bothered him so much that he felt the need to repost the article with the following caption. I have to respectfully disagree. Nuno Betancourt is one of the greats, for sure. However, there is very little Slash couldn't do on guitar if he wanted to. I toured with Rihanna prior to Nuno, and I've spent a lot of time playing with Slash. This gig wouldn't be a struggle for him. I'm sure he's correct. I'm no guitar player, but I doubt there's much of anything that Slash can't do. Honestly, though, it was probably a little unnecessary to make the post, but it is what it is. This is rock and roll. Where things really heat up, though, is Nuno's response to Richard's post. Here's what he had to say. Well, I knew this was eventually coming. You can't be blessed and be on multiple guitar magazine covers at a shocking 56 years old. Get this much attention for your playing and new album as a rock guitarist without another guitarist stirring up some shit. I'm responding to this not because I give a shit about what this guitarist thinks about me, but instead because I'd hate to think my few words offended a hero of mine slash and possibly fuck up my relationship with him. At Fortis, I've quote unquote respectively never heard you play one note in my 56 years of being alive and only know your name from the Rihanna camp and as a replacement player in Guns. I'm sure you're a decent player, but did you really need to repost a headline that made me look like I am bad-mouthing a fellow player, Slash, as if I'd ever think Slash isn't capable of playing any Rihanna song in his sleep? Let's get something fucking straight. To me, Slash is one of the greatest rock guitarists of my generation and of all time, period. And at Fortis, if you knew me at all and where my heart is, you know that what I meant in this statement was not about Slash or his capability. It was about rock guitarists like myself or Slash switching genres and the awkwardness of playing these feels. No shit Slash can play these songs. Thank you so much for pointing that out as if we didn't already know that. But for me, as a predominant rock guitarist, I'm obviously not as talented as you and found it a challenge to nail all the different pockets and guitar tones of genres like reggae, R&B, electronic dance, trap, and pop. 
As far as you shining a light on my ridiculous statement that Slash would quote-unquote struggle, yes, a poor word choice on my part. I personally would hope that Slash, who is a peer and influence, would be more mature enough to understand what I truly meant as a guitarist by that comment. In mentioning Slash as an iconic rock example, I meant in general a rock guitarist would find it not a struggle, but feel like a fish out of water as a player. That's all I meant. I've had nothing but respect and admiration for Guns N' Roses and Slash. Apologies if I've unintentionally offended anyone. Holy shit, what a rant. Honestly, when I read it out loud, it sort of reminds me of the phone call bit in GNR's cover of Knocking on Heaven's Door or the angry rant in uh, uh, Get in the Ring from GNR. Underrated song, by the way. But anyways, look. I'm a far bigger Nuno fan than a Richard Fortas fan, but Nuno's post just doesn't make any sense at all. He says, quote, no shit Slash can play these songs. Thank you so much for pointing that out as if we didn't already know that. But in the original statement in his interview with Planet Rock, he says, quote, Slash is one of the greatest rock guitar players of all time, but I guarantee, and he'd be the first to tell you, that if he jumps up and he's got to play a clean intro to Rude Boy from Rihanna, it ain't happening. Two very different quotes with two very different meanings. Again, bringing up Slash in the first place just doesn't make any sense. The logical one, like I said, would have been to bring up Richard Fortas, but if you're not going to go that route, maybe someone like Buckethead or John Five or something like that, that would just make far more sense in my opinion. All in all, Nuno's post feels like he's basically backpedaling on his earlier statement about Slash in the Planet Rock interview, but let's face it, both Nuno's post and Richard's post were totally unnecessary, and honestly, Nuno could have just stopped his comment without having to compare himself to anybody, which would have saved this entire thing. In more positive news, Extreme's hitting the road in just a couple of weeks, along with Living Color. As long as Nuno is fully healed from his recent knee injury that he sustained on the Monsters of Rock cruise, so I'll most certainly be checking that out. It's been like 15 years since I saw Extreme Live. Uh, and supposedly, GNR will have new music coming very, very soon. According to their production manager, Tom Mayhew, and this recent photo of Axl Rose and Slash in the studio together. I'm hoping it'll be a brand new song that was recently written, uh, but more than likely, I believe it's going to be just something older that's just not, not been released yet, a la Absurd or Hard School. All right, though, I gotta run. My fiance is ready to play with me so that she and I can make our own porno graffiti, so I gotta go. But thanks so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you next time.